you've got to use it a little bit like salt and it's the best invention since salt as well. And with salt, when you're thinking about cooking, you're always using salt at either the beginning when you're preserving food or at the end when you're kind of giving it that final bit of taste. But what you never want to be doing is adding it in the middle. And for the strategy process, I believe that's the same as well. So you either want to be using it at the very start when you've got your hunches and hypothesis where you're trying to figure out what your strategy is, but you never want to be using it in this middle section, which is research and validation. You never want to be using it to kind of test hypotheses because it's not not reliable source of information. It's great for brainstorming and coming up with ideas and hunches, but not in that middle section. And then finally, what I think it's really great for as well is helping you craft your strategy, helping those words become really sharp. Now, when I look at the strategy process and, and really that beginning and end, what I'm seeing here is there's a couple of things that I've started to use ChatGPT for. The first is really helping to flesh out a benefit ladder, which is a tool that I use at the very start before I get into research, as well as giving me some initial insights, hunches, areas that that I can kind of poke into. I then go and do the research away from GPT and then finally coming back to it when I'm writing the creative brief or I'm writing my strategy up front. That is when it's going to provide a lot of value for strategists as well.